China has embarked on an ambitious journey of mega-infrastructure projects that have left the world in awe. From high-speed railways that crisscross the nation to sprawling urban developments and groundbreaking technological endeavors, China's mega-projects have not only reshaped its landscape, but have also sparked envy and admiration around the globe, particularly among Americans. In this exploration, we delve into the remarkable feats of engineering, innovation, and urban planning that have not only transformed China's cities and countryside, but have also sparked conversations about the future of infrastructure in America. South North Water Transfer Project, China's multi-decade, over $79 billion South North Water Transfer Diversion Project, is a massive infrastructure project. The project's goal is to redirect four rivers in the country's southern region, totaling about 44.8 billion cubic meters of fresh water a year. The Yangtze River, Yellow River, Huaihe River, and Haihe River are the rivers. Through three diversion routes, the eastern, central, and western routes, the water will be transferred to the northern region, which is more arid and industrialized. The eastern, middle, and western regions of the Asian nation are all affected by the detours. While the central and western routes are still being built, the eastern route has been finished. Chengdu Metro. This is Chengdu's rapid transit system, which serves the Sichuan province of China. Since 2005, the system has been being built. Right now, it has already finished its first, second, and third phases. Currently, 12 subway lines cover 518.5 kilometers in total. There are three 37 stations altogether throughout the lines. A 39.3-kilometer light rail route, Route T2, with 36 stops, is also in use. The Chengdu Metro, the fourth-longest metro system in the world, is now in Phases 4 and 5 of construction. When Phase 4 of the project is finished, 176.65 kilometers worth of new lines will have been added, while Phase 5 will add 199.8 kilometers. Chongqing Kunming High Speed Railway This is a high speed rail network being built to link Kunming South and Chongqing West. The system's length will be 699 kilometers, and its top speed will be 350 kilometers per hour. It will take about two hours to get from Kunming to Chengdu and Chongqing. Nearly $20 billion is anticipated to be spent on the project's construction. Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge, Macau, Zhuhai, and Hong Kong. The bridge's construction started in 2009 and was finished in October 2018. It was a massive engineering achievement that required the utilization of sophisticated building methods and a large workforce. The Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge is one of the world's longest sea crossing bridges, measuring roughly 55 kilometers, 34 miles, in length. One of the longest cable stayed bridges in the entire world, this one has a length of 29.6 kilometers. The bridge has greatly slashed the amount of time it takes to travel between the three cities, facilitating the movement of both people and products. As a result, economic activity and trade prospects have increased. Jiangsu Province Railway A massive investment of $34.35 billion is set to transform transportation in Jiangsu Province, as plans are underway to construct eight regional intercity railways along the picturesque Yangtze River. This ambitious project aims to significantly reduce travel times between Nanjing, the provincial capital, and various districts and cities within Jiangsu province. Additionally, several of these rail lines will establish crucial connections between Nanjing and municipalities located in the neighboring Anhui province. With construction anticipated to continue until 2025, commuters and travelers can look forward to a more efficient and interconnected transit network in this dynamic region. Shanghai Astronomy Museum one reason the cosmos evokes such awe is the sheer size and scope of the universe. The same can be said of the Shanghai Astronomy Museum. 
It opened in July 2021 after more than seven years of planning and building, staking its claim as the largest museum of its kind in the world. Chinese business Enid created the expansive 39,019 square meter, 420,000 square foot, tribute to space travel and the great mysteries of the cosmos, which includes dozens of interactive exhibits. Visitors can stand in front of a massive and ferociously red model of the sun, traverse the cosmos in a suspended planetarium, stroll around a black hole, and peer through a 23, 8 meter tall, 78 foot tall solar telescope, Taihu Underwater Tunnel. About one-sixth of China's total population and one-fourth of its GDP are located in the Yangtze River Delta region. However, a lack of transportation choices and huge distances between towns have historically made it difficult for small businesses to attract and keep talent. China Tiasiju Civil Engineering Group and Third Harbor Engineering collaborated on a project to construct the Taihu Tunnel, a two-way, six-lane roadway that is China's longest and broadest corridor beneath a lake to better link the area and boost its economy. Wudongda Hydropower Station The Wudongda Hydropower Station on the Jinsha River in southwest China became more than just one of the highest dams ever built when it opened last year. It also serves as the focal point of the nearby hydroelectric facility, which is home to 12 hydro turbine generating units with a combined capacity of 38.9 billion kilowatt hours annually, or enough electricity to meet the requirements of almost 300,000 people. The initiative, which took more than seven years to complete, will have a significant impact and help China reach its objective of becoming carbon neutral by 2060. Yangku Dam The enormous Tibetan plateau, known as the Roof of the World due to its great elevation, will soon be home to the largest edifice ever constructed totally without the need for human labor. The 180-meter, 590-foot Yangku Dam is to be built entirely using 3D printing and autonomous AI technology, including unmanned bulldozers, trucks, excavators, and pavers to reduce the possibility of safety concerns and human error. The project entered the construction phase in December 2021. The State Power Investment Corporation, Gansu Electric Power Investment Group, Upper Yellow River Hydropower Development Company, and Shaanxi Hydropower Development Company are some of the project's partners. The hydroelectric power plant, connected to the dam on the Yellow River, will supply electricity to almost 100 million people in Henan province. In a world of monumental engineering feats, China's megaprojects stand as awe-inspiring marvels that leave Americans, and indeed the world, filled with a sense of envy. These visionary endeavors, from the expansive high-speed rail networks that crisscross the nation to the gravity-defying skyscrapers that touch the heavens, have redefined what's possible in the realm of infrastructure and innovation. This is the end of the video. Remember to subscribe to the channel. For more content like this, thank you.